Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ride with Lance. I am back from vacation. Relaxed and recharged. Ready to hit the workforce back again and go back to work. But I do have a few things to say, not about vacation. Number one was an email I received while I was on vacation. It was an advertisement from Magicycle. And I am sure if you're on the Magicycle's email list, you probably received it too. It was a advertisement <clears throat> comparing the deer to the Rad Rover 6 Plus. And when I saw that, <clears throat> I said, oh, this is one uh, article I got to read because, you know, I'm a Rad Rover 6 Plus owner. I have both the high step and the step through for my wife. Of course, today I'm on the Hemiway Zebra because I am still waiting for the tubes for all my flat tires to come in. <laughs> but anyways, so I read that article and I get their intention of the article. It was trying to compare Rad Power Bikes, Rad Rover 6 Plus against the Magicycle Deer. Deer being their their flagship model and the Rad Rover 6 Plus being Rad's flat, flagship model. But still, it's, it's, it's not quite an equal comparison, which they kind of make it sound like it because you're comparing a full suspension e-bike to a hardtail e-bike. Then you're also comparing a bike, the Magicycle Deer, that has a 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery to the Rad's 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. So it's not quite an apples to apples comparison. So, Magicycle, if you're watching this video, do, if you're gonna compare, try and get it as close to apples as apples as possible and compare the Rad Rover 6 Plus to your cruiser. Even though your cruiser is a 52 amp or a 52 volt, 15 amp battery, it's much more closer because that bike is also a hardtail. So while you're trying to compare a full suspension e-bike to a hardtail with a lower battery, I don't know. Are you trying to stack the cards and make people believe that it is a fair comparison? It's not. I got nothing against Mazda Cycle. I think they make a great product, even though I've never ridden one. I know several other creators that exclusively ride Mazda Cycle products and have nothing good or nothing but good things to say about it. So <clears throat> I'm not going to slam Magicycle. Cycle. I'm sure they make a great product. But if you want a fair comparison by an unbiased person, you can always send me a cruiser and I will do you justice or I will do the, the test justice between both bikes. Because even though I ride Rad Rover, I'm not sitting here saying that that's the, the best and only bike out there you should look at. So how about it, Magicycle? Are you up to the challenge to actually do a real unbiased comparison? My email's in the description. You can give me a, you can give me a holler. 
<laughs> it would be cool to see the two pitted against each other. All right. And the other thing I was going to talk about was a comment I got again while I was on vacation that I never answered. Wasn't really sure how to answer it. But if you look right here, I'll put the comment right on the screen right here so you can look at it. I'm not going to tell you who it's from. Because again, I'm not going to call individuals out, <clears throat> but just beware. For all those who comment on my videos, you've made it public by making the comment. So just, <laughs> just beware. I may make a video out of your comment, good or bad. So first off, I'm trying to determine if this is a comment that is trying to be negative, well, it is kind of negative, or it's trying to start a argumentative discussion. Because the first thing I noticed about the comment was he's not comparing it to anything, not his bike, not a different brand. Just saying that 21 miles is abysmal on throttle only. Well, I guess he can have his opinion, but uh, I don't know many of my viewers who only ride throttle only. And if they do, I'm not sure their, their butts can actually last 21 miles sitting on a, on a hard seat. Even with an aftermarket softer seat. I'm not sure if they can go 21 miles. I know after 21 miles, either if I'm pedaling or just throttling, if I'm sitting down, I'm hurting. So this comment, I'm not sure, sure how to take it. I mean, I haven't answered it yet. Don't know if I'm going to answer it or just let it be. I haven't taken it off the, off of YouTube. Because like I said, I'm not sure if he's either being sarcastic, trying to be argumentative when he's not comparing it to anything else. I don't know if it's a, I don't know what to make of it. What do you make of it? If you are the commenter and you're watching this video, explain. Because I don't think 21 miles on full throttle only is abysmal on a 48 volt, 14 amp battery. Like I said, I think most of my viewers or subscribers pedal. They're not always on throttle only. I did that test just to give people a range of what they could get if they are a throttle only rider. And they are as big as me and as tall as me. So I'm not sure what to, to think about that comment. You guys can comment on it and, and tell me what you think. Is 21 miles, or do you think 21 miles on full throttle only on a Rad Rover 6 Plus is abysmal? I'm guessing a lot of you are gonna say, no, it's not. But anyways, I thought I'd just get out for a quick Sunday ride. Had those things on my mind while I was on vacation, trying not to think about things. 
So let me know what you think. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.